Can you imagine I get on this horse and I'm like the best horse rider in Aruba that day, dude? That'd be amazing. That would be sick. I turn into a fucking jockey. I start racing horses, dude. This man starts competitive equestrian racing like he's actually. <laughs> I make a YouTube video. The end of an era and I just sit there. I go, wow, you know, eight years. <laughs> it's time for me to hang up the camera and pick up the. out there. Welcome Woo! back to the next episode of the Four Way yeah. Free For All. It's Vinny, it's Tobin, yeah. it's Ryan, it's Frank, and now we are going to find out. You both killed the Verizians. Wow. That <laughs> what happened? Super that happen in back. this episode or did that happen at the end of the last one? No. Jesus. Wait, Another no. Oh, no. Oh, context, context, context. Context. People are actually hacking. Get For out of here. You actually need to be the we one. Just I started. need to oh get a Verizion, dude. Yo, if I get a Verizion, we all have to switch to Verizon Wireless. No, yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. It, but if you guys missed the previous episode, you're probably super confused right now. We all ran into a Verizion at like the exact same Except time. For me. Yeah. Thank you for including me, dude. Well, you're going to run into one right now. Yeah, you right, got this. this guy is totally going to have a Verizion. If he does, I'm shitting my pants. All right, really. let's see. Come on, we need, we need oh, to get That's oh, grass type. We're almost there. Close. It's well, close. Yeah, we're closer. Indeed. You gotta swap that dark type in, man. Yo, yep. I love Double having dark. a Mega Gyarados, dude. Oh, I have Dragon Yo, Rage so now. Yes! Ooh. That's cool. Ooh. Strong. Very strong Yo, indeed. Your, your team is actually insane. Yeah, no, his team's jacked. Like, my what team's not that? looking good compared to his. Yeah, I'm not oh even gonna lie, gosh. dude. My team's actually crack cocaine. Says, says the guy with the literal Mewtwo and the shiny Mew. Or what is it? No, meow? It's a meow. It's not even gonna do anything. I'm hey, gonna put him in there. If you get huge power Persian, that thing is a. It's not from <laughs> you to sleep on. This is true. I do got an ability capsule, so there's a possibility. You wake up, Mr. Tobin. Am I the only one that thinks Tobin should be legally required to send that into one of the cage matches? Yes. Legally. I mean, just because it, it's shiny. Yeah, it's shiny. You no, gotta I send it in one. I want, I want to evolve into a Persian. I have an ability capsule. As long as it gets a decent ability, I'll send it in. No, mm. don't evolve it. Don't evolve it. It's, no. I think you should keep it in its purest form. It. No. Keep it into its no, purest fuck form. You, Tobin. Frank. I'm gonna evolve him pretty yo, in. Yo, what why if do we you, just why all do you have a gentleman's agreement for a little cupcake match just for fun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you send in little baby moms? Why not? Well, yeah. Pee wee Lee. Why are you stay with chess? Why do you resort to profanities? Why do you resort to profanities? Use it to evolve before I even thought about saying fuck. I resort to it. Oh yeah, Frank. Yo, you fucking suck. I start cussing because of you, bitch. Yo, y'all gotta, gotta get off your high horses Yo, and calm my, down. My cocks and balls feel tortured right now. I got I feel so really tortured in the cock and ball region. Oh, speaking of horses, guys, I'm I'm going on a horse riding excursion in Aruba. And here's the thing. I don't know if you guys know this, but K-Dog rode horses a lot when she was younger. And she's like a professional. And there's oh, yeah. two horse levels girl. of horse excursions. There's like basic level, and then there's the advance. Yeah. K-Dog was like, we should do the advance and I'm like I have rode like one pony at like a petting zoo when I was seven <laughs> I'm scared as shit but I'm really excited to try new things Bro, Yo. I have you ever seen a horse kick somebody? Ooh, they're huge, yeah. dude. You you get knocked you get knocked by a horse, you're gone. Like it's mm. GG, you're done. Like no, yeah, you literally yeah. could break a rib. Me, Easy. And, mm -hmm. me and Phil had a really interesting conversation about like doing new things when you're in your 20s and realizing you may have like an innate talent for something. Can you imagine I get on this horse and I'm like the best <laughs> horse rider in Aruba that day, dude? <laughs> That'd be like, amazing. I'm, I turn That'd be into sick. a fucking jockey. I start racing horses, dude. <laughs> This man starts competitive equestrian racing like he's actually. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this just becomes like an origin story to in a robot. End of an era, and I just sit there. I go, wow, you know, eight years. It's <laughs> 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 time for me We're to hang up the camera and pick up the. Sorry, just. I'm sorry, the thought of you going to Aruba and then the day you get back quitting YouTube is just the funniest thing to me. Take that vacation, Vinny, you deserve it. If you say so, permanently. <laughs> oh, yeah. The next time he's on camera will be for the Olympics. I ride horses now. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Dude, god. Your horse could be named Babe. Like, it would work way oh, too well. Oh, that would be like perfect. Paint flames on the side of my horse. Oh my god. It can't burn me if it trusts me. 
Guys, the more we talk about this, the more I'm getting attacked for this idea. Like, please. I'm actually the purple. I'm not the perfect size for uh, a jockey because I think jockeys have to be like really light. But as far as height goes, I'm perfect for no, a you horse. Got the height. Yeah, you got the height. Mm. Hell yeah. I just got to lose like 30 pounds and then I'll just I'll glide on that horse. <laughs> Honestly, oh, listen. Oh, shit. It's a horde. <laughs> I, I was going to say horse. <laughs> I was going to say horse. It's a horse. It's a horde of horses. <laughs> oh, God. Look, everybody no. has their obstacles they got to overcome. And, like, in order for you to achieve your horse riding dreams, like, I think you got this, Vinny. This Yo, just got deep. Jesus. I, right. I, I, feel like, I feel like we should all make a pact to all try something new this year that has nothing to do with content. Like, a personal <laughs> thing that we can all do yeah. and we can come back in our next project and be like, Yo, all right, Tobin, what did you do? Tobin could be like, Dude, I fucking took up darts. Ryan could be like, yo, bro, I'm fucking doing professional rolling down the hill chasing a cheese ball. <laughs> That's actually a real thing. People hill. chase cheese wheels down hills. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back 400 pounds and yeah. be like, yeah, I started hot dog eating competition. Dude, I was thinking hot dog eating right when you said I came back 400 pounds for whatever reason. My you guys, guys sumo wrestling to be honest. My name no. is Frank and I eat Franks. Yeah. Oh, my name is Frank and all I do is eat other Franks. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, uh, and God. actually, you know what though? This is a, it, on a more serious note, it yeah. is never too late to shift gears. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you, when he's right, you he's right, folks. When he's you right, he's right. You can dedicate yourself to something for years and years, but if you finally look at yourself in the mirror and you say, you know what? I'm just, I'm not really vibing with this anymore. You could be well, 50, 60, 70 uh, years old. You could change uh, gears. I mean, if you're, if you're like 48, uh, you're probably not going to like make it to like a professional uh, sport. Yeah. Well, well okay. Well, I guess. But like you could, you Actually, could Actually, 48, it. you could. If you're, you're, if, I mean, if you're like 75, you might not make it to the NFL. No, I hate no, to break no, it to you. No, but, but like competitive seen, shuffleboard might, yes. might be in your future. Hell yeah. yeah. There's like, but yeah, there's true. like there's old sports people. For there's like old people that are like super athletic all the time. Like you see like the old people running marathons. Okay. You see like the old people. Yeah, that's but that's true. really neat. Scuba diving. Hey, I believe in them, Toby. No, yeah, I do believe you. in them. No, that's good. Scuba you. diving, you need to like pass a course to like be scuba certified. <laughs> scuba certified. <laughs> No, it's, it's actually, yeah, you laugh. It's actually very dangerous. <laughs> if you don't know how to yeah. properly breathe, you're good, son. <laughs> hey, babe. Uh, you know, I'm scuba certified. No big deal. <laughs> you imagine you like trying to impress a girl. You're like, yeah, babe, I'm scuba certified. <laughs> 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 yo, yo, don't me that fish steak. Don't yeah. me that fish steak. You're, just, you're <laughs> just dying on the first date, dude. <laughs> That's you how you know she's lobster. the one. If she stays with you after you almost drown on the first date, she's a keeper, dude. Yeah, she's a keeper for 100%. sure. 100%. That's Facts. why you don't go swimming on the first date. Oh, no, no fucking shot. No, no shot. fucking shot. No shot. Gentlemen, yes. please. If she says she wants to go to a water park, you run. <laughs> don't do it. Unless you say it's in the sheets. Yo, you can't be uh, drowning on the first date, my dude. The only thing you should be drowning in is puss. <laughs> yeah. That's why I wanted to get with it. Yeah. Yo, that was uncalled for, cuz. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. It was no, funny. No. I love that. I poor love that taste, shit. my God. What a poor taste. It was a sexual joke. bro. Oh, my God. Nah, Frank's all about Frank. getting in, Yo, my dude. Is that Frank or Raider? Our Randy, this guy's out of control. <laughs> Ray and our Randy. I didn't know we were oh recording with God. Randall from Monsters Inc. tonight. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sir, he's my favorite character. Ew, he would be Randall. <laughs> <laughs> you have such a weird geek. You self identify as Randall, dude. dude Randall's even... so cool. He's the best. Bro, Randall always used to scare me when I was a kid, man. He just, you could tell he's pure evil. And he, wasn't he like just a little dork back in Monsters Universe? Yeah, too. no, well, that, that's what I'm saying. He's, he's not pure evil because he started out really good. And it's crazy because Monster University expanded on its villain, villain origin story. So when you go back and watch the original Monsters, Inc., you mm -hmm. have a better understanding Wait, so, of so his I motives. Don't, I don't remember. Why did he become evil? Was he, like, bullied? I, don't, I think so. It was something to do with, like, uh, like Mike he, just kind of... Like he Mike, lost to the games, right? That was the, yeah, what happened? He, was yeah, that, well, was he, that? He, got like, he got, like, screwed out of it. Like, something... I think something Mike... Uh, not Mike. Or maybe it was a Mike. I don't know. Someone mm. fucked him over in some way. And he wanted and, revenge, uh, so he was going to steal wanted revenge. the screams of children. Yeah. Bro, Monsters, <laughs> Inc. is awful. so fucking good. Shmoopsie-poo! Uh, everybody, on three, favorite <laughs> Pixar movie. 
Uh, Three, I can't, I can't. two, uh, one. Toy Story. Toy Story. Ah, Tobin, I knew I loved yeah. you, Tobin. Yeah, I was, I was thinking, I wasn't sure if that was, Toy, that was Pixar or not. Wait, what but, did Ryan right, and Frank good. say? Because I just heard Toy Story and I was like, did we just become best friends? <laughs> we became best friends. <laughs> what I said Incredibles. Frank, Frank what'd you say? I, well, for me, Wally. I love Wally. Wow. <laughs> Actually, it's more like, wow. <laughs> 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 Luigi. Luigi. <laughs> no, yeah. Wait. Wally is just, Wally's just so good, man. Like, I it's don't know. Something about that, that's you. a take. No, I, every time I bring I up, Ryan cute. always shits on me. Ryan, why do you? Okay, no. You just don't like it because there's no dialogue for your little ears to wait, get wait, all wait, wait, wait. There's no dialogue. <laughs> well, yeah, it's just Eve. It, wow. It, yeah, well, it's, it's like there's, there is dialogue, but the main characters can't speak. Wait, doesn't yeah. he like fall in love with a baddie, like futuristic robot, yeah, but she still hot. loves yeah. him? Yeah. Yeah. He's, Have you yeah. ever seen it? No, I've never seen it. Oh, dude, Wait. you gotta watch. It's so good. Wait, it's really so, good. Like, so he literally like how, how does he how does he pull her though? Like, what, does he have a personality? <laughs> he got a massive mechanic. If I'm remembering correctly, the, the Wally, the Wally, the girl robot's like pretty bad, right? Robocock. Yeah, yeah, how the fuck Robo do you get out of here, dude? I, I think the thing was was there was no other robots on Earth at the time, so like Wally had that going for him. Oh, so he just won yeah, by true. process of elimination. Yeah, he kind of, yeah, yeah he kind of did. That kills yeah. the story for me. Yeah. Yeah. No, if you no. if it was like one. Through ten, <laughs> Wally's like a four out of ten. He's pretty gross. No, I'm not gonna lie. Wally's kind of dumpy, but it makes him precious. But does he like you know? do yeah. sweet things for the yeah. for the girl? Yeah. 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 Like, like saving swallowing. humanity. That's pretty sweet, I'd think. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he does that too. He does that too. Yeah. How how long is the movie? It's like I don't know, like an hour and a half, maybe. Probably. Yeah, and there's there. no dialogue at all besides like the no, no, no. <laughs> no. There's some from like the like side characters because Yo, the whole premise is like. Hmm? Anyone hear my Wally impression? That was like That's a soundboard good. clip right there. Like, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you don't know. like Nick. the whole, the whole premise. The whole premise is like it's set in the future, and the Earth is like completely uninhabitable. Okay. And mm. so all of humanity lives off Earth in this big spaceship, right? Oh mm -hmm. shit. But yeah. Wally is from Earth, and then Eva, which is the other robot, is from like this futuristic spaceship area, right? Mm -hmm. And so then, you know, long story short, they get intertwined. Up then or down, it ends up, up or being, down, up or down. Uh, oh, I'm down. down, down, down. Thank you, sorry, keep going. And, and then you go right. Um, but also, it ends up, they end up getting intertwined, and then eventually Wally ends up saving um, humanity. Spoiler alert, or he works <laughs> to save humanity. Are you <laughs> fucking kidding me? Yeah, dude, and you literally like, just ruined it for Vinny. No, that's not. That's he not was like gonna a watch How it. Is that not spoiler? He saves the world. <laughs> yeah, that's like literally I the ending. It was just a fucking love story. <laughs> Frank. <laughs> What's wrong with you? All right, come on, come on. No, but that's, that's his goal. That's his goal. Dude, I don't know. No, 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 no. Who knows if he actually does it or not? It's an end game. Uh, yeah, yeah, literally. Uh, Iron cool. Man dies. Iron Man dies. Yeah, Sorry. he does. Why are you have to tell everyone? Out, bro. <laughs> Mr. Vinny, I don't feel so good. Oh, my God. You know, Ryan said that because he felt it with his spider sense. A scene guess me every time, bro. So good. So good. Dude, how fucking cute is Zendaya and Tom Holland like just posting all the time together now, dude? They're cute. Love it's it, so dude. adorable, dude. Yeah. I'm fucking to stan. Tobin's jealous. Tobin's no, I'm jealous. Not. I'm not. Tobin, you, come on. Know, they're cute, I, Tobin. Come on. No, I have a really hot take. Literally, I'm the only person I think that's not a big fan of Zendaya. Not a big whoa. fan. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Someone yeah. has been spending time on there, Twitter. Listen, there's a lot there's of people a who are There's a difference between not being a big fan and... and why you hate her? Why do you hate her? No, no. Okay, I was like, <laughs> her as MJ, not my favorite. But her in like the Greatest Showman rocks. She From was pretty good showman. Now on, 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 these on, eyes will not be blinded by. Oh blind wait, I have it on my lights. soundboard. Wait, uh, I can't. You can't hear it. I can't hear I it. I think yeah, that awkward. played through the system audio, but maybe it didn't. So if it didn't, <laughs> just awkwardly you. <laughs> Oh did? my god! Hell yeah. <laughs> but no, yeah, I uh, I don't know. I, I like Zendaya. I think she's good. I think she's good. I can't yeah, believe I Tobin like blocked Zendaya on Instagram, yeah. dude. Nah, dude. <laughs> I just I like more bright personalities. She has more of like you know some darker tones. Yeah, I'm like, well, ah. That was like something unique that she brought to the character compared to other MJ's in the past. I that, like the that's, sarcasm. That's what's hard for me. That's that's what's hard for me because the Amazing Spider-Man, like, well, Gwen. Loved her. I love the personality of Gwen sure. a lot. Well, Gwen so. was very bubbly, very outgoing. Yeah, that, not very, that's what yeah. I'm she was very quirky, to. I guess you could say, right? Yeah. Very quirky. How much very is that quirky. Gwen or is it Emma Stone? Like, you're saying, like, do you want them to stay true to the character originally or bring themselves to the role? Ooh, ooh, I, I mean, I do debate. like Emma Stone. I do like Emma Stone a lot, but I do like what she brought to the role. I just mm -hmm. liked her personality. She's very bubbly. Like, she liked Peter. 
She didn't like Spider Man, you know. I'll so. say That's MJ, true. MJ in the MCU, Zendaya's MJ definitely grew on me as the movies went on. At first, yeah, I that. was like, hmm, I, I don't know how I feel about this. And then as she continued, she definitely grew on me a lot, for sure. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah like, I think, yeah, like, for the first two movies, it was like, okay, like, all right, like, whatever. But, like, I think that, I think Far From Home really. I, yeah, I, I'll, 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 I'll agree with that. No I think home. in Far From Home, she was a lot, I think she liked her better than that one, I always sure. think they did that on purpose. Like, writing-wise, she didn't have as strong of a role in the first Yo, two movies dialogue? compared to the third. Who was the first so, girl that he liked in uh, Homecoming? What was her name? Michelle? Oh, that was weird. Uh, the Vultures. Girl, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That was weird. That twist was crazy, though. I remember no, being the in the twist, theater the like, twist, the twist was, was good. The twist was good. The it's drive to the homecoming dance, like there was so that, much chill. I think that scene single-handedly makes the movie. I, you know, the balls on the vulture, though. Like, dog, you're in a car in a confined space with he a man a that gun. will eventually punch Thanos in the face. <laughs> yeah. He will rip your head off, dude. Like, Spider-Man is <laughs> so also, fucking strong. He's like, I'll fucking about, kill you, Peter. No, you won't. Uh, no, you yeah. won't. Can we just talk about he was also in a school parking lot? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, he just pulls out a gun. He's like, mm. no, when he took the gun out, he's like, just so you know, Peter, I'll fucking kill you. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> there's just, there, there's, there was a kid walking by the car. <laughs> Can you imagine no you show up to prom and there's a dad outside like, just have her over there. I'll fucking kill you, Peter. What the hell? Oh, Jesus. Crazy. Oh, so why do you guys like Toy Story? Why is that your favorite Pixar? Oh my god, man. I, Toy Story literally just reminds me so much of my childhood. I, I, yeah. It's definitely a nostalgia thing for me, but also I just love the message of like growing up and letting go and moving on from things that really meant a lot to you. And I, I gotta say though, I talked about this with K-Dog on a stream we recently did. Dude, I, I felt personally, and maybe I have to rewatch it, I feel like Toy Story 3 it was emotional. They really wanted us to cry, right? Toy Story yeah. 4, they just fucked with us for no reason. And it pissed me yeah. off. Yeah. No, I, I, dude, I literally cried at the end of 4. I was so sad. They didn't have to do that. Like, I get it. It's <laughs> a real it. thing in life. Like, you're going to move on from relationships and friendships and whatever. But, like, the fact that they did that to me was like, oh, oh, you cried at the end of 3? Oh, oh. Get ready for four. And it's like, yeah. like we forgot how to do that. Like yeah, it was like it seemed like they were just trying to be more like more sad to be sad. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was know. like I think it was originally supposed to be like a trilogy, and the fourth one just kind of happened because people love Toy Story and didn't I'm gonna, want it to I'm gonna be like, honest oh. though. I think the the story of four I like better than three. Three I didn't like the story as much. I'm trying to remember the story. I just remember three ends with the uh with the toys all on like the uh the the porch, right? I thought it ended with driving away scene. so long, partner. That's three. <laughs> no, wait, Ryan, I, that's no. the that's the prank edit of the movie. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Someone, I don't oh, know if all yeah, that's, seen this. that's absurd. Where someone tells so, their family member that like the the scene where all the toys die is the ending of the trilogy. Yeah. Right? So they they took the movie. They just cut out. They just cut after the like, straight to the credits. Right after the incinerator scene, and that's how the movie ends. They show it to someone who's never seen before. Bro, that it's is amazing. that is straight up like torture. That's fun. Yeah, that's beautiful. beautiful. Uh, so, it's beautiful, he says. I see what you did. <laughs> I, so I'm realizing I'm wait, Tobin, are you in the gym right now? I, I'm I'm fighting our rival. I'm about to enter the gym, yeah. What okay, the yeah. Fuck? So I'm not even out of the cave yet. You know, we we are way yeah, ahead of you guys. Yeah, like, we're like we'll, winning this versus right now, so no big deal. <laughs> well, that's fine because the episode's probably about to end soon. We just gotta get me out of the cave and then we'll wrap it up, Jim, in the next episode, baby. <laughs> what? Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's get I'm this shit. <sighs> yeah, okay. I was gonna say we're like 20 minutes in right now. Ryan, go ahead Ryan I'll, uh, what was your take on Incredibles now. 2 since Incredibles 1 is your favorite? I mean, like, both are really, really solid. I almost feel like it, I'm speaking on nostalgia because I don't think I've seen Incredibles 1 in a minute now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but just all things considered, I really like how the characters were. They were really, really relatable. They were very incredible. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, that was an easy one. Uh, <laughs> okay. uh, well, I'll give you that one, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, Tobin. Thanks, Tobin. That was so fucking sweet of you. Yeah, I, um, <laughs> I would even like go as far to say I think it's my favorite score out of all the Pixar movies too. Like I really love the soundtrack. Wow. Yeah. I would say I would say the first Incredibles is e even taking nostalgia out of it. I think it's better than the second one. You know what's okay. better than that though? Huh? This guy's fucking eyebrows. Look at this guy. Yo, oh, this yeah. fucking guy. <laughs> what? I got some good <laughs> fucking eyebrows. Let me tell you. Those aren't eyebrows. That's a bush, is what that <laughs> is. Wait, how did, how do you even get that? Like, you can't grow out your eyebrows. How how did he get that? No, you he, can. he grew You'd be them surprised out. what some people are capable of when they just don't shave. 
I can't say I've ever like <laughs> shaved or even trimmed my eyebrows. This is all natural I, my whole life. I, I don't think I've, I've plucked mine at some points. Like when I've I when plucked, I, there's like a loose I've hair. I've shaved. I've I've done it all, folks. Wow. I sometimes pull out the weed whacker. <laughs> Nine thousand. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a good <laughs> I one. Know the model number. Oh <laughs> yeah. yeah. I use it every day. No, I missed uh, the one, two, and poof. This tada shit's killing me, man. Finally, somebody said it. I, Why I are you doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Am I the what? only one that feels that way? I'm just a oh, Gen 1 bro. I'm just a Gen bombs. 1 -er at heart. <sighs> Like, no what? one brings up that the Tada is the new text for like 2013. Bro, like, when I was like, a kid, Archaeops is literally on crack okay, and I love him. He is, he's, he's crazy. Right so now. fucking cracked out all the time. <laughs> Anyways, when I was a kid, I used to have when a flashlight on my fucking Game Boy Advance. No, oh, okay. Good this times. guy didn't have an SP. We didn't have these no, no, that's before devices, the SP. dude. <laughs> No, I, I, I had a flashlight on mine too, because that was before the SP came out. Yo, I, got, wow. I, got, I got the flashlight in Super Mario World for my very first game. Last Man, you guys, you guys are old. Before backlit screens, yikes. Couldn't last, be me. Last topic of discussion days. before we wrap this episode up. I know Ryan is going to be very interested in this topic. So Kanye obviously has been doing a lot of Kanye stuff. Um, but what is actually very interesting, and I'm curious what you all think. His new album, Donda 2, so the sequel to Donda that came out last year, he's not putting it on any of the major music publishing companies. So no Apple Music, no Spotify. It's not going to be on YouTube, not on Amazon. He's only going to release it on his own platform. And if you want to listen to the album, from what I understand, you have to buy this little MP3 device called a stem player. And it comes with the album on it. And basically, the reason why it's called a stem player, when you're making music, there's stems and different tracks. So you have, like, the vocals, you'll have, like, the synths, you'll have the drums. And this player allows you, on each song, to, like, change whether you want to hear just the vocals on the drums or the vocals oh. on the synths. And it makes it, like, mm -hmm. way more customizable the way you listen to the music. But he's literally saying, like, fuck Apple, fuck Spotify. Like, I'm doing this all by myself. And he sold, like, 36,000 of these already and has made, like, two or three bill, uh, three million dollars from this device. Which yeah. is crazy. That, that sounds that. super cool. Because, like, especially if you want to use just, like, the background music instead of the vocals and just turn it off, that's lit. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie. That that sounds so excessive. It's a lot. Like, like, it's why definitely the other side sure. of this, Fred. But like, okay, I, like he's expecting you to buy a device yeah. just for specifically only his music, and mm. it what maybe oh, has twelve songs. Two hundred dollars. I, I, I device. think you can put other songs on it. It's basically like an okay. iPod yeah. that will then stem your music. Uh, yeah, okay. I, think I guess. That's I, guess sick. I guess that makes it a little yeah. more justifiable. I mean, yeah. But I mean, also, I, I think, I think Apple's songs. not going to do it. You know, the the, pr the problem is it's cost like two hundred dollars. So like, if you want to listen to the new album, you have to dish out two hundred bucks. It's like, dude, like yeah. I'm a huge Kanye fan. Even I was on the website. Like, am I gonna really buy this fucking thing right now? Like, I had yeah, to think yeah. about it. like with with a regular album, it's a no brainer. You just obviously you just stream it or you buy it on iTunes or whatever you want to do. But to spend two hundred dollars on a fucking device to listen to the album. I'm like, I don't know, man. That's yeah, it's, like, it's, it's that's, kind of that's, that's very expensive. Which no, I get, I'll, but yeah. I can also play devil's advocate that like we offer one hundred dollar member tiers for perks of hours with our content, yeah. which is only like two months to be the equivalent. That is true. That is so true. So kind of like I, I get where it's coming from, but also I don't think I'm going to spend two hundred dollars. Yeah, no, you know? it, all, no, it all depends. Like if it. you if you want to do it, you can do it. If you don't want, that's just that's the weird thing though of like being used to getting music a certain way, and then all of a sudden he's like, "Yo, fuck these major distributors! Like you just got to buy my device for two hundred bucks." Yeah, it's pretty wild. It's wild, but also I don't think anyone else could pull it off besides Kanye. So oh, I mean, dude. I mean, I I like <laughs> the idea of it though. The idea is so cool. Like if Apple did that with every song you got, and you could you can choose whatever layer you wanted. I think that's super sick. It is a really cool premise. It's it's the device itself is really fucking dope. If I get one, I'll let you guys know. Also, randomized TMs yes. and Lands Wrath apparently is here, mm. ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys for watching. The next episode that you guys will see, I will be very tan because I will be back from my trip. It's going to be Woo! a Monday episode, and we're going to record it the day before it goes up, so we'll be very fresh. I'll tell you guys all about the trip. Thank you guys for watching and supporting the series. You guys are awesome, and the three of you guys, I'm just going to publicly thank you right now, all jokes aside. Thank you so much for all the bulking that we've been doing. It's been helping me out so much with all the traveling that I've of been course. doing. And this project's been fun, man. It's, it's super, super fun to record. I love it. Aww. Yeah, that's no, been a good Thanks time. Thank you. I've been loving it. it. Yeah, I've been loving it. it.
All right, we'll be back on Monday. We fucking love you guys. Subscribe to all my boys. Check out all the fun stuff that they're doing on their channels. And let us know, are you going to buy a STEM player? We love you guys. We'll see you guys next time. Mwah. Peace. Bye, guys. Peace. Bye. Peace. Bye.